always stepping up in weight class is scary, for not only for the fighter, but the coaches. But sometimes I think most athletes, when they fight at a better weight, it's better. by the Dominican Mixed Martial Arts Commission. Judges in charge, Ana Victoria Hernandez, Oliver Cruz, Elvis Santana, Carlos Castillo, and Tommy Santana. Our next fight is three rounds in the Battleweight Division. Introducing first, in the blue corner, weighing in 135 pounds, with a professional record of one victory and one loss. From the Dominican Republic, Elias La Pantera Fausti. <laughs> On the red corner, weighing 135 pounds, with a professional record of eight victories and two losses. From the Dominican Republic, Por esa puerta. Luis El Cañón. Rodriguez! This fight is sponsored by Plaza Lama, referee in charge, Tommy El Internacional Santana. And the first fight of the night is about to begin. Typical wrestler striker fight. One guy bumping up, one man being the taller, longer opponent, but we'll see how the smaller man can come on in and implement his game. Rodriguez is definitely the wrestler you see with the cauliflower here. You gotta love the cauliflower. Well, do we have a typical striker versus wrestler? So we'll see what happens here. Great body kick by Rodriguez. Beautiful oh, takedown. Beautiful overhand right too with it. And I was talking to Elias Faustin earlier. He says his BJJ is good. It might not be the best in the world, but he knows how to work his way back up and implement whatever game to keep him safe and alive for the possible next round, or if not, just an escape. I think what's important is that all these athletes are getting the opportunity to shine their, you know, show their skills at this level now. And you know, everybody wants to get to the big show, so stepping it up right now is the most important part. And we see Luis on top, implementing some nice round and pound, keeping his head at the chin, and pushing his opponent's head against the fence so he's not able to come up for arm bars. It's harder for him to escape, and overall, he's able to hold control in a dominant position. I just can't believe that he came up in weight class. I just don't know where he was yeah. <laughs> cutting weight to. <laughs> I was going to say, he looks pretty fit for this weight class yes. right now, and yes. with that being said, he could be healthier and stronger because of it. He's definitely looking to uh, get to back control. Back. Oh. Look at the rear oh, naked. He's going for it. Wow. It's over. It's a little more of a cranking situation, but that still can't finish this fight. What he needs to do is bring his elbow down to his chest, bringing his right elbow, kind of squeezing it back here, because right now... The chin doesn't seem, he doesn't seem to be under the chin. You know, with Elias, overall, the smart thing for him is to put his... Oh, it looks oh, like he's getting tight there. Yeah, you yeah. see the strike stops. Oh, beautiful job. Wow, and bumping up a weight class, finishing it with that rear naked choke. Great, great fight. Beautiful job. This might be his weight class. Great way to finish the fight. It's a great way to finish the fight, and it's a great way to make the statement, especially open up on UFC Fight Pass. Thought he was going to originally get the chin locked in and then get the sub from there. Was able to wiggle it through and get finished the sub. It was an amazing job staying patient, holding position, and making his opponent panic. Overall, Elias was kind of safe, but he had his chin in the in the elbow gap, and he was safe, but he kept on lifting his neck, eventually because the, the squeeze kept on getting tighter, and we see this- Beautiful uh, takedown. Beautiful takedown, and, and overall pushing against the fence, taking the back. Please explain this to me. I mean, reaching back for the leg, we both know that's not correct, and defending the choke is the most important thing. No hand control whatsoever, and you know he's definitely gonna have to go back and look at this tape and definitely do some homework. It's definitely a learning experience, but let's bring it inside the cage for the official result. And, the winner, and one minute and 39 seconds by submission, Luis El Cañón Rodriguez! And a beautiful job again by Luis Rodriguez bumping up weight class, getting the submission, and overall looking good.